And what's the difference between finishes like satin and matte? Okay, um, satin finish is roughly 40% gloss level. Um, uh, compared to matte, matte's 20% gloss level or, or less. So it's just how shiny it's it is. It's just how shiny it is. Is there any difference in wear? No. They still have the same amount of coats and hardness and everything. It's just it has no sheen. And to me, I think matte's finishes are getting more popular, don't you? Yeah, yeah but I'm, um, I'm gonna disagree with Jason a little bit. He said they wear the same. I think they do. Definitions of wear will vary between even two brothers. My definition of wear, give my pen back. No. My definition of wear is change in gloss level due to abrasive wear, okay? So if, if we have a glossy floor down over time, if we get some abrasive wear on that, by definition, the wear is the same, but in reality, a glossy floor will show that change in appearance more than a low gloss floor. Don't you agree? I would agree with that, but, but I'm, right. I guess I'm saying the hardness factor. The hardness is the same. That's everything exactly right. is the same on right, that. Right, right. So yes. if you look at the warranty, a warranty on the floor will say it won't wear through to the back. Gloss level has nothing to do with it. But as far as a change in appearance, I think a high gloss floor will show a change in appearance over time more quickly than a low gloss. But we'll fight about that later. Okay. okay. We'll take it out back. We'll take it out back, that's right. Okay, um, next one. Nucor has a 22 mil LVP and a 6.5 mil millimeter overall thickness for 269. Does your Mills River product match up? Um, the problem here is the Nucor, like all the 22 mils that I'm aware of on the market, is a WPC floor. Uh, what that means is it has the soft core, which is really good if you need extra insulation for temp against temperature change or for sound. The downside is that softer core dents really easily. So if you, whether it's the new core or the Traffic Master or Life Proof, if you go to the websites, read the reviews, okay? from customers that have bought it and you're going to see a common theme is my floor did it really easily here you know i paid three dollars i paid four dollars it was 20 mils it's whatever um none of those will keep a floor from denting if it's a wpc floor now our mills river floor is an spc that's a stone polymer core um when you look at the two of them it's, it's very obvious what the difference is and you can read some of our blogs and, and look at some of our graphics to learn more about that but an SPC floor is much, much harder. It doesn't have the insulating quality, so if insulating is what you want, maybe you want to go with the uh, WPC. But most people want a floor that will stay with them a while, that looks the same 20 years from now. And if you really, if you want that longevity and the no dents, you better go with an SPC like our Mills River. Our Mills River is a 20 mil product with a cork back for $1.99. So I, I think our Mills River stacks up against any product in the nation. Just to be honest with you. 